how do I get the cheapest clicks part two now we all want to get cheap clicks we all want to save money on advertising and in this video I'm gonna to talk to you about doing just that some techniques that will help you out and make you more profitable now this is video two of a two-part series so I would suggest that you go back and watch video one after you watch this it's really important because it explains the process that I'm gonna get into in this video where we're gonna do some analysis and we're gonna actually look at your ad cost so make sure you look down in the description right there and you click and watch video one you're gonna need that to put all this together okay it's super important that you do that if you're new to my channel you got to subscribe don't forget to subscribe there's a big subscribe button down there and you got to click it and then there's another button next to it and when you click it it's gonna sound like that unless you click it really hard it's gonna sound like that okay and then after you do that you want to turn on all notifications every single one of them I think there's only one something like that yeah turn on all notifications click the button that says that and that way you'll be part of the Fisher family the JR Fisher family the VIP family that finds out about these videos before everybody else you jump in front of the line that's what you want you're important you shouldn't have to wait you shouldn't have to search you shouldn't have to look you should be notified and that's exactly what I'll do now if you're new to my channel this channel is based on starting running and growing your online business now I've been selling online since 2009 and have sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products and I've learned a few things over the years I mean heck we have our own branded products on thousands of websites including Including Walmart okay so our products are really out there if you search survival K food you'll find one of my main products which is a survival food and we've sold millions of dollars of that product and we sell it every single day so these things that I teach you on this particular channel we actually put into practice every single day and I sell digital products I have courses I have trainings on these things so we sell not only physical we sell digital products we put all these things into practice and I actually teach you how to do it on this particular channel now if you want to get more training and you don't want to spend any money I got just the thing for you I got a $97 e-commerce course that's down in the description all you have to do is click on it and you can click and learn you don't need a credit card put all that stuff away. put your wallet away you don't need it click on that link down there and watch my training for absolutely free now like I said this is part two so we're gonna get into some stuff that may not make sense if you haven't watched part one if you want to go back to part one click down there watch that first thing come back to this video otherwise let's get going now I don't know if you've already run ads or not if you have I'd like to hear the results a lot of people are trying to run ads now a lot of them having problems I actually have a course on Facebook ads too so we've spent a lot of time on this and my wife runs ads on Facebook every single day for her products and I run YouTube ads now in the last video we discussed how CPC or cost per click didn't really matter now to understand that you really need to go back and watch video one CPC doesn't matter uh, cost per click doesn't matter because what we're really worried about is gaining a customer so it's customer acquisition cost that really matters that's the thing that is gonna make all the difference in the world as a matter of fact I'm gonna tell you something really crazy in the beginning of this video the cost that you're paying for clicks now you want to pay more what yeah you want to pay more cost per click and I'll explain to you why in just a second here's the cool thing bidding more actually get you higher rankings and more clicks so that's what I want to explain to you right now why is it that you want to have more cost per click understand that Google AdWords and Facebook ads and all that is all based on a bidding system so when you're putting your bid in when you're saying how much you want to pay cost per click that's going to raise you in the rankings if you're a higher cost per click bidder and it's going to get you in front of more buyers it's going to get you in front of more traffic and it's going to get you more clicks overall so bidding higher is actually going to help you now just because you bid higher doesn't mean you're going to pay that 
that's just what you're willing to pay so the average cost per click if you bid ten dollars for a cost per click it could come in at three or four dollars but you're just saying that I want to be on top of the list there it's a bidding war when you get out there and other people are bidding on these clicks too but just because you bid higher doesn't mean you're actually gonna pay that you could it could happen but for the most part it usually does not now check out what I'm putting on the screen right now this is a keyword overview for flower delivery now if you notice the competition level is very high okay there's very high competition um, this simply means that there's tons of advertisers that are bidding on it which is evident from a simple Google search term you can see that now check out these results right here see all these results that I put on the screen right here did you notice how 1-800 flowers is at the top of the list they got there by bidding higher than the other advertisers below them but why would they do that it's because they want to get high rankings no matter what type of search term you bid on ranking in the first ad position is going to get you a higher click-through rate now if you look at this chart here by word stream you see this more clicks on your ads likely mean more conversions well I mean, that only makes sense right at least it gives you more chances to convert those visitors and if your average cost per acquisition isn't coming close to your margins bidding higher means you're getting more conversions at barely any additional cost so plus in many cases you won't have to increase your bid dramatically really to take the top spot it just it just takes a little bit more than the other guy to actually get ahead and that's true with so many things in life you know to get ahead you don't have to work you know 90 hours a week you just got to work more than 40 you got to do more than what the average person is willing to do to really get way far ahead of the average person because think of it this way if the average person is working 40 hours a week and you're working 50 or 60 you know in a month's time you've already worked an entire week more than them okay so that extra that extra time really builds up you know putting in that extra hour in the morning that extra hour in the afternoon you know do Doing something at lunchtime when everybody else is taking a two-hour lunch all those things really do add up and you can get ahead of everybody else now in the last video you, you we went through the calculations if you haven't done that calculations you're gonna need to do that to understand what we're gonna go forward with on this one but if you did those calculations in the last video you've got your numbers now you know what to use in this video for example if you've done your calculations and you figured your labor and your non ad cost and you know you can sell your product for a $60 profit and it costs you $10 to get a sale on AdWords well that's a lot of profit you're doing really well so since that's the case and since you're spending 10 bucks and you're getting $60 in profit there's no reason why you shouldn't increase your ad spend now you're saying well I'm already I'm where I want to be and I want to keep my cost down yeah but if you increase it to $15 what if you got 40% more sales or hundred percent more sales it would certainly be profitable for you to do that so who cares if you spend more on this particular bid for this click in this conversion if you're still profitable you want to spend more because it's going to expose your product to more and more people and it'll get you higher in the rankings which is going to get you more clicks it's going to get you more sales now if you look at the screen right now one of the best ways to assess this is with a keyword planner and AdWords you start by using the budget and forecasting tools and you can see how much impact your cost will have on bidding on more specific terms for you to rank higher so as you see on the screen right here you're going to enter or upload a list of keywords to get the forecast you can either enter a given keyword or a list of keywords you can even get forecasts based on current campaigns so for this process I would recommend taking it one keyword at a time and make sure that your data is as specific as possible you can see it right here where I put the one keyword in here I put use cars in here and you can see get forecast so I'm gonna click on that and then you enter your keyword and then hit get to forecast to generate the report now right here in this report you can see how bidding and budgeting will impact metrics like clicks impressions cost and much more start by entering a bid to see how much that impacts the data you can then start sliding the bar across the graph to increase your bid and see adjusted data each time now, this is a really cool tool and it's free sliding the bar towards the right will increase your bid giving you different results on clicks impressions and cost for example the lower 
my cost per click bid is the lower my position is see how it's lowered the position there this is an indicator of higher competition and the need to bid higher if I want to rank first look what happens to my metrics when I bid four dollars per click on this keyword you see this that's changed it dramatically but the average cost per click is $1.94, right? Um, I, I rank in the first position even though I am only paying $1.90, but I bid four. Okay, do you see how that works? And check out my click through rate now at 7.9%. It went up an entire percent with a slight adjustment of my bid. Why? Because with an increased bid comes increased rankings and more clicks. So try using this tool for your current campaigns to increase your bidding and rank first. So you can now see why wanting to pay more cost per click is really a good thing. Okay. It's not a bad thing the way you thought before. Now, if you remember that graph I showed you before, there was a massive difference when I started increasing that bid and my cost per click and what I said I would bid and what I actually paid. Now let's check out legal services where the average cost is almost $6 per click. So it's super high employment services are around four dollars per click which isn't cheap either meanwhile e-commerce and dating only a dollar per click now this when you first look at it can be really confusing to some people because they're like why is the cost per click so darn different why why is there such a spread in these things I know you want you want your industry to have a 19 cent per click cost per click right that would be really cool if you could do that well the reason it's set up this way is because of the way Google sets it up and they say that it's a bidding war basically you guys decide out there when you're bidding you know how much you're willing to pay for a lead and that's why it leads you to a five dollar and 88 cents per click for the legal industry now let's think about this the average cost for a lawyer or legal assistant is going to be anywhere from a hundred dollars to a thousand dollars an hour so since there's so much money they can make on this particular customer if they get them in the office then you know the cost per click is not that big of a deal when you compare it to how much profit they can make once again think about it paying roughly six bucks per click versus getting thousands of dollars in business it's not that much of a gamble really now when you head over to Amazon and if you look at this visual here and look at some of the top deal based products they're relatively cheap they range from you know a few bucks to less than a hundred dollars on average so with an average cost per click of 88 cents in the e-commerce world it just kind of makes sense advertisers generally aren't willing to bid huge amounts that would sabotage their acquisition costs bidding five dollars on a term for holiday socks wouldn't be profitable if you're selling the socks for only three bucks I mean it just doesn't make sense then you're negative so once again since it's a bidding war out there it only makes sense that people aren't bidding high they're not setting that bid high whereas in the legal industry they are setting the bid high so that's what drives down the cost per click now some of these costs will seem super high on the surface but as you dig down a little bit you'll find out why they're high or why they're low let's look at this term right here uh, I've got a visual there on the screen and this is for accident lawyer okay you see accident lawyer holy heck paying hundred and thirty four dollars and seventy seven cents for a single click may sound outrageous to you but knowing that the conversion rates are low on AdWords you might be paying thousands before you even gain a client it almost seems disastrous when you look at it from the outsider's perspective you could be spending millions every year just on AdWords but seeing a bid that highly probably means that the average case value for an accident-based law firm is huge well these lawyers are willing to do it because if they can land a big contract of 50 or a hundred thousand dollars you know spending six bucks or 134 bucks or whatever it may be is a very small price to pay so let's take a look at another product you know your bid for selling basketball shoes may be a lot higher than your bid for selling a three dollar pair of socks because there's more profit in the basketball shoes so the cost per click is going to be much higher on a product like that and I think you're starting to understand why these things are all across the board so the moral of the story is this cost per click 
doesn't matter okay what really matters is cost per acquisition as you look at the cost of a product and the profit of a product people are going to be willing to pay more and more and more like in the lawyer um, uh, situation they're going to be willing to pay more because they know the profit margin is huge if you're selling a ten dollar product online and it doesn't have much profit you know you're probably only going to want to pay pennies for clicks and that totally makes sense so let's just quickly boil it down to what it is cost per click doesn't matter cost per acquisition does so once you've got the statistics once you've got the data and you, you're gonna learn how to do that in video one so you want to go back to video one and watch that once you've got that figured out then you're good to go then you can go out there and decide what your cost per click is if you decide that you can afford to spend three dollars on a cost per click and it looks like all the cost per clicks are four dollars then what do you do and I explained this in the other video you actually have to up your conversion rate right if you up your conversion rate then of course that's going to lower your overall acquisition cost so that's the thing you can do to actually improve your advertising budget this can all be done it's going to take some time and you're going to have to put some effort into it but you've got to understand the dynamics of cost per click and cost per acquisition they're two entirely different things and once you get all those statistics figured out all that data in front of you you can sit down and you can run a profitable ad campaign now I appreciate you watching this video tell me what you thought of it put your comments below have you been profitable on your ads and if not tell me what's going wrong I'll be happy to help you out put your comments below which one of these things do you think helped you out most do you like video one more video two more what else would you like to see a video one two tell me in the comment section below and I'll be happy to do a video on that if I have enough interest in it I don't mind doing that in addition to that I promised you there's a $97 e-commerce course that's down in the description you want to click on that you want to grab that course you want to get it while it's still there it's a limited time you don't need a credit card you have to do any of that just click on the link and you can go there now if you haven't subscribed already please do so click that subscribe button down there and ring the bell there's a notification bell right next to that subscribe button and if you ring the bell and turn on all notifications you'll become part of the Fisher family the VIP group that I notify of these videos every single time I do them I really appreciate you watching this video and I hope you got something out of it if you did give me a thumbs up give me a thumbs down whatever works for you I would just appreciate the interaction thanks and I'll see you in the next video Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right there so you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also, click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.